good answer. <laughs> um, you know, it, it's interesting you meant uh, you mentioned like sort of you know that shouting against the man. Yeah. Um, and in a lot of conversations with people, we sort of talk about the challenges of the industry, and yeah, you're especially you know guilty as charged my young generation. There's not a lot of accountability or responsibility, and it's easy to say. Uh, oh, there, there isn't enough funding, or the, you know, the system won't help me make it my way. But you know, in, in researching this, I look at other English language speaking countries that are <coughs> trying to start an indigenous industry, right. and we're overfunded. Yeah. You know, and when you actually like put that in context, you realize that you know maybe we need to value what we have, and then like you said, try to work within that that frame of that understanding too that. Yeah, you want to get your show on TV, but you also need to meet the needs of the broadcasters, and that there's a relationship there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we have we have friends in the states, you know, who fund their stuff by going to their dentist and doctor and asking for loans and maxing out the Visa card and and all those things. And there's other models that are emerging in the states that are more, you know, entrepreneurial or or um, outside of the studio system. But um, the funds here that we have are an unbelievable gift that most places don't enjoy. The ability to own your product and own your production is something that exists, I think, in the UK, and I'm not sure where else. Um, and only just back in the UK in the last couple of years that producers get to own their um, their copyright and carry forward their projects and self-distribute if they want to self-distribute. You know, we have a lot of autonomy here that we don't um, celebrate enough or, or um, you know, when we don't get a fund, it, the fund exists, right? We were able to apply to it. There, it's there. It may have gone to somebody else, but at least those piles of money exist, which I don't know where else they really exist. Yes. <laughs> okay, true. I won't. I won't talk anymore. Oh no, that's <laughs> no, that's it's true. Um. <laughs> yeah. <come on. laughs> uh, Again, when we talk with a lot of people, um, we talk about all the challenges of working in the Canadian film television industry, and it seems like a lot of it boils down to the lack of a homegrown Canadian audience. Um, more eyeballs in prime time, more bums and seats at television theaters, and that being an area where there's a real capacity to change. Um, why do you think we, we haven't been able to really have that homegrown audience that you see in other uh, markets? And I mean, Quebec has their own their own language and their self-determination, but like we see in, in the UK or Australia, is it the type of stories we're telling, or sort of what's your perspective on why that gap exists? Yeah, I think it's pretty simple. I think it's, I think it's, it's uh, being the best of the best. Uh, I think we get confused sometimes with culture and what culture is, because uh, my, my feeling is that Canada isn't about hockey and Tim Hortons and all of these, these iconic images. It's about much more universal things that Canada has done very, very well in the world, and for some reason we don't talk about those things. You know, the sort of the global ethic that we have, or that we think that we have anyways. So, so things like that that I think would resonate more if we, if we develop stories more around those things. Um, and then I think just the pure work that it takes to learn how to execute something as well as Hollywood. You know, we love to dis the, the Americans in all kinds of ways. But it's interesting when you come to Banff and you listen to the speakers, most often the ones that come across as the most um, mature in so many ways are the Americans because they've just been through the ringer and they've come to the top of their game. And, and you can tell because the way they talk is, is actually not always, uh, but often very moderate and very, very well informed. You just documented saying that. Yeah. <laughs>